in lockdown so I haven't done my hair and it looks terrible. No, 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 no. Perfect! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Food Re that's sort of a bit of a joke. I mean I can wear it if you want, but actually my hair sort of looks better now that I've put tried loads of hats on. So sort of work. Yeah, look meh, meh, it's very grey. Well the, um taste icons range from Walkers. So they've teamed up with a number of restaurants, chain restaurants, and are making crisps. Um yeah, sorry, I got this from BM Bargains, hashtag Essential purchase, you decide. Um, no, check the first video we did, the Nando's video, for my explanation around that. Anyway, a great idea. Really like the um, the idea of this taste icons and working with chain restaurants that everyone's heard of. And um, they're not necessarily the most obvious choices either. So Gourmet Burger Kitchen, I think that's pretty cool. Um, slightly scared of this flavour. I'm not a big fan of cheese flavour crisps. So I hope the uh, sort of beef and just burgery this is more forward. <sighs> mm, smells, yeah, smell, does smell quite burgery. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Ingredients in this one. Um, it calls it a classic cheeseburger flavouring with salt, flavourings, onion powder, tomato powder, garlic oil, paprika extract. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's actually captured the flavour quite well. I am getting a hint of tomato. Yeah, it does have tomato powder in. So that's kind of giving me... So, well, I should explain, right? So for my burgers, I prefer plain. So like beef, uh, cheese, like maybe bacon and whatever. That's how I dig, you know? Um, or like with a few accoutrements like tomato and lettuce and mayo. I'm not such a fan of the like tomato sauce kind of vibe. And the pickles and the gherkins and the mustard. So I'm not a massive fan of these because to be fair, that actually captures the very much the taste of a classic cheeseburger. So I would say there's definitely hints of all those additions in there like tomato ketchup and maybe a little bit of mustard and um, maybe a lot like a hint of gherkin. Not much gherkin though. I don't hate them by any means. In fact, I'm quite impressed by them. I think they actually do taste very much like a burger. I think that's actually quite impressive because they've captured the flavour really well. Um, yeah, not my cup of tea, but I'm actually going to boost the score a little bit based on how impressed I am with them. Um, I'm going to give them four stars. Very unique tasting. And like I say, whilst it's not quite up my alley, all of those flavours aren't overpowering. I think actually the cheeseburger flavour comes through. I'm not saying you can necessarily explicitly taste beef. In fact, I, I certainly don't believe there is beef in them. Most of, yeah, most of these are suitable for vegetarians. Um, but definitely the overall experience or taste and flavour profile of the cheeseburger, they have packed in there. Um, I think I might have mentioned at the start, but I really like the packaging. The logo is quite bold on there. And yeah, just quite impressive. Um, not overwhelmingly cheesy either. Um, it's a really well balanced crisp and uh, that's actually one of the more impressive crisps I've tried from Walkers in a long time. Thank you very much for watching guys. Let us know in the comments below if you've had it. Um, hey, click click like, right? Because liking the video is just a cool thing to do. And if you're new, 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 new uh, subscribe for more because we are so uh, committed to the uh, form of entertainment that we choose, which is videos, we're really committed. So, cheers. Oh. Oh. Oh.